going to turn right at the start to someone who comes from a family that has done much for space research, particularly her father, Dr. Malika Sarabhai, daughter of India's space pioneer, Dr. Vikram Sarabhai, the lander was named after him. Uh, appreciate your joining us, uh, Malika Sarabhai. I'm going to play pictures of your father, some black and white pictures when it all started in the 50s and 60s. But give us your sense of what today would mean to your late father. What would it mean for him to know that India had landed a lander on the moon? I think Papa would have gone around thumping every single scientist on their backs and with a twinkle in his eye and already seeing what's coming up next over the next 50 years. And I think he would have uh, felt justifiably uh, right in trusting and putting his trust in all these young people who have spent decades I mean, think of it, it's 50 years. Think of the number of scientists who have gone through this with the vision and the faith that Papa had. And I think he would have been over the moon. You know, I'm playing pictures with uh, of, of your father with Jawaharlal Nehru. And unfortunately, we live in a time where, uh, you know, the world gets politically polarized. You show Jawaharlal Nehru and his contribution to the to space research and people will say, oh, you know, the, you're, you're promoting Nehru uh, and, and, and Nehru in the Congress. But the truth is that your father, Jawaharlal Nehru, Homi Bhabha, a lot of a constellation of scientists came up in that 50s and 60s generation who actually actively contributed Satish Dhawan to this building of the space research program. Give us our viewers a sense of the kind of person that Dr. Vikram Sarabhai was. I think Papa believed that the kind of commitment and passion that he had for building a nation and of bringing the latest in science and technology to answer some of the most primary development issues, he believed that everybody had the same zeal. So he went into a meeting thinking everybody was with him and seeing his incredibly infectious style, even people who were not with him by the end of the meeting were with him. And I think uh, with both Panditji and Indiraji, they had such complete trust that neither Homi Bhabha nor Papa had a hidden agenda, which is very difficult today because everybody has agendas and everybody is suspicious. But I think Panditji genuinely believed that these two young men wanted to do something for the country, build the nation, and was willing to listen to them and then back them. And Panditji, of course, has been quoted as saying that science is uh, the thing to go for tomorrow and not, not anything else. And, and all the other institutions that he uh, engendered, whether it's the IITs or the AIIMS or, or many of these institutions which have a scientific basis, prove this. And I think the lack of suspicion, the lack of having a personal hidden agenda of self-aggrandizement I think went a long way in making yesterday possible. You know, your, your father and, and, you know, the Sarabhais were a very prominent industrialist group. And yet he chose the path of science. He and Dr. Homi Baba, who also came from an affluent family, they were the original, as the, as the teleseries on Sony says, the Rocket Boys. Was this an obsession with your father, rocket science, from a very young age? I saw a, a letter this morning that Rabindranath Tagore wrote recommending your father to Cambridge University to study science. But was the, were these space pioneers obsessed about going up and, and, and taking India into the space era, despite all the limited resources at their hand? I think Papa was fascinated by the possibilities of space science. But if there was one obsession, it was to build a nation and to build a nation where the last person got justice and dignity. I think that really was the passion. Uh, science was the path he chose, like my mother chose the arts. But I think the passion was to actually be part of building a new India that took its part in, in, the, in the universality of countries and that, that could say, we did it, we stood on our own feet and we have the vision to be able to say, we won't take one step at a time like the tortoise, we will leapfrog into the future. And I think that was his passion. I think that was Homi's passion as well. And, and, and that of Satish Dhawan. So these were institutional builders in, in the truest sense. One final word. 
you know, do you, do you in that sense believe that uh, uh, your fa you know, your father would be proud, no doubt about the scientists of today? Uh, is, is science, was science for him part of just also giving the younger generation something to dream about? These were great dreamers, not just institution builders, but dreamers who dreamt big. Uh, the Thumba uh, station in, uh, in, in uh, among others were, you know, carved out of dreams that these uh, pioneers built. So what would, what would your father tell young India today? If he was around, what would he tell young India? I think he would tell young India that this is, this is about changing lives, about transforming lives. It's not about GDP. It's not about getting the patronage of X, Y, or Z, government included. And he would infuse in each person the passion to make a difference to this country. I think that was Papa's magic. And I think he would have done it today. Uh, you talked about Rocket Boys, just Rocket Boys. And scientists have issues with that and people have issues with that. That's fine. But Rocket Boys itself has ignited so many young minds into thinking that you don't have to be a crook to be a celebrity. And I think those kind of icons are crucial to India today because we are becoming a cynical and hateful society and this kind of giving and and celebrating the giving is really what is very important today. Let's leave it at that. These are the icons of, of modern India, the builders of modern India. I thought we should start with a special tribute therefore to Vikram Sarabhai, Malika Sarabhai for sharing some of your memories of your father, Papa as you call him. We owe a huge debt to the likes of Vikram Sarabhai and what they did for space research in this country. Thank you.